hello dear students students today we will continue with the same unit that is unit number 2 in this unit we are going to start with new lesson that is lesson number 5 the house we live in so let's start we need a house to live in it also gives us comfort it protects us from heat cold rain and dust we keep all our things in our house our house keeps us safe as we all know that we live in a house we have different types of houses and we live in a house why we live in a house because a house protect us from heat cold rain and from dust and it also keep us safe now here come to the next topic that is types of houses there are different types of houses around us some houses are called permanent houses and some houses are called temporary houses permanent houses what are permanent houses the pakka houses are called permanent houses which remain unchanged jo kabhi change nahi hote whereas temporary houses are the houses which are for limited period of time like your kacha houses many people live in the same houses for a long time these houses are called permanent houses some houses are made up of mud straw leaves and wood these are kach called kacha houses we see many kacha houses in village the house which is made up of mud straw leaves and wood are called kacha houses generally we see uh, kacha houses in villages now some houses are made of bricks iron and cement the houses which are made up of uh, brick iron and cement are called pakka houses we find many bungalows in towns and cities bungalows are pakka houses basically we find in the all the pakka houses in towns and cities like bungalow as you can see picture here given over here in your book these this is your bungalow now we also see some apartments in towns and cities an apartment consists of many flats what are apartments apart an apartment consists of many flats as you can see in the picture over here this is your apartments in this there are many flats we see multi story buildings in big cities these buildings have many floors a multi story building is also called a skyscrapers now in big cities we also see multi story building here we can see the example of multi story buildings these multi story buildings are also known as skyscrapers okay so students i'm sure you all have understood today's topics so now rest of the topics we will do in next class thank you and have a good day